students. Uh, today you're going to be looking at tests for parallelograms. So in the last unit you looked at um, if something already is a parallelogram, what do we know about it? What can we prove about uh, quadrilaterals that are already parallelograms. And in this lesson, it's going to be, well, if you have a quadrilateral, how do you know it's a parallelogram? So in a way, we can think of these theorems as the converse of the theorems we learned in the last unit. And you may remember converses from back in first semester. So for today, our lesson objective is to prove that a given quadrilateral is, in fact, a parallelogram. As a reminder, the definition for any parallelogram is that both pairs of opposite sides must be equal. So that's the base definition. There are other things about them that are true, but the basic definition is both pairs of opposite sides must be parallel. Okay, conditions for parallelograms, um, looking at the various theorems. If both pairs of opposite sides of a quadrilateral are congruent, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So by having the sides be opposite in any type of quadrilateral, then it automatically makes it a parallelogram. And there's the abbreviated form. And in an example, we could say then if we had AB is um, congruent to DC and AD is congruent to BC, then what we can say is if that is a true statement, then A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Okay, so we can make that statement based on theorem. Oops, I put 6.3 and I'm sorry, that is 6.9. Let me fix that up here. That should not say 6.3, so I apologize for that. 6.9. Okay. Moving on. Next, uh, 6.10. If both pairs of opposite angles of a quadrilateral are congruent, then a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So you might remember yesterday we talked about if it was a quadrilateral and, um, I'm sorry, if it's a parallelogram, then it automatically had its opposite angles congruent. So the converse. If both pairs of opposite angles are congruent, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So the markings on a parallelogram drawing would look like this. We want to mark opposite angles congruent. So A is congruent to C and B is congruent to D. And if that is true, then we can say A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Okay, 6.11. If the diagonals of a quadrilateral bisect each other, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So um, in this case, I have the diagonals drawn AC to D. So if they bisect each other, which in the drawing we would indicate that by our congruency marks, just like that, again, then we would, our, our then statement would be ABCD is, and I'm just going to draw the, the shape, is a parallelogram. Next, if one pair of opposite sides of a quadrilateral is both parallel and congruent, so if you're just talking about one side, or one pair of sides, if they are both parallel and congruent, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So that would look something like this. So if AB is parallel to DC, and it's congruent, then it has to be a parallelogram. Because what's going to happen is if you have that situation, then the other pair of sides, AD and BC, are going to end up having to be parallel and congruent as well. But, um, and that goes back to those, those theorems and everything we know about, like alternate interior angles and, and all that, when we have transversals crossing parallel lines. So then ABCD is a parallelogram. So hopefully that makes sense. It's the kind of the, the converse of everything else. So we have a summary here. Um, these are our proofs that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So the first, the first proof that we would have is by the definition. And that is um, opposite sides are parallel. 
Okay, so we know the basic definition, if you have a quadrilateral where, whoops, let me make that an arrow, where opposite sides are parallel to each other, both pair, then it's automatically a parallelogram. Okay, so that's one way that we can prove it. And we, we have five, okay? Um, the next one on the theorems we just learned as a review, um, we learned in theorem 6.9 that another way to prove um, a, quadru a quadrilateral is a parallelogram is if both pair of opposite sides are congruent. So if both pair of opposite sides are congruent, we in fact have a parallelogram. The next one that I reviewed was if both pair of opposite angles are congruent, we have a parallelogram. So if both pair of opposite angles are congruent, then we have a parallelogram. Okay, next we had um, the diagonals. So if you have a parallelogram, or a quadrilateral rather, and you draw its diagonals, Oh, that's not a good one. And then you determine that these bisect each other, so we can... Sorry, it's a little small in there. doesn't fit good. That would be how we would write it. If the diagonals bisect each other, then it's a parallelogram. Okay? And let me clarify something on this. I noticed this uh, in people's responses to yesterday's assignment. The diagonals bisecting each other, that's bisecting the diagonals. That's not about bisecting the angle that the diagonals are coming from. And there were some people confused about that. That was not what was being talked about. Okay. And then finally, our final method was that um, if we had um, one pair of sides that were both parallel and congruent, one pair of sides both parallel and congruent, then we have a, parallel, uh, a, par a parallelogram. Sorry about that. So one pair of opposite sides have to be both parallel and congruent. Then we have a parallelogram. So those are the five ways that we can prove a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Watch the next video for uh, the practice problems. I'll work out several of those.